Hi there, guys. This is Tim Pellin from Tim and the Lou Dog Show here at the viewing of Silent Times. I have one of the stars with me, the lovely Veronica, and I have the lovely Tammy with me, too. We're going we're gonna to ask Veronica a couple questions on how she got into doing a silent movie, which is very rare today for anybody to do a silent movie. Very difficult to do, too, I might add. So, Veronica, let's start out with who you are. Where would you come from? <laughs> Where I came from? I came here about 19 years ago. I came from Ukraine. Um, used to live in Martha's Vineyard. Um, was married back then. Um, raised a family, and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be an editor in a newspaper. I'm a linguist. Really? Um, yeah. Um, interpreter. Wow. Learning yoga now. And so about a year ago, uh, Christopher found me on Facebook and he contacted. He says, I want you to be in a movie. I said, hmm, it's interesting. And so that's how I got involved. So the mime thing, it's my thing, I guess. <laughs> well, he made a great choice. Um, Tammy, you got a question? Yeah. So what is your role in the movie? So there are two mimes. There was Olga Kurkulina, who was mime number one, <laughs> who is in Israel now. And so I continued the work she started. So I'm mime number two. Come on. Baby, won't you want all the Heather because because you know I really I've supported you from day one you were so good for this area and you, you do so much for this area thank you. I appreciate you're that. so important for us oh, thank you. I mean I really mean that oh, thank you. so I um, so anyway I election day is coming up and you're out and about I'm everywhere no I know <laughs> yeah, I know um, but it's such an honor to have you here. You know, one thing about you, you always get out to every event. I try. You are always in places, you know, and, and people see you, and uh, that's really important. I think people need oh, to see that. I so. Hope so I try to um, treat everyone as I would want to be treated. I, you know, I always say it doesn't matter what color your team wears, I'm willing to work with you and talk to you and listen. Mm -hmm. And for me, I always try. 
to give people the benefit of the doubt to help them when they're in a space where it might not be the best to try to bring them up. Yeah. And I've really reached out to the community and I hope that I will return yep. and continue. Well, to we serve. hope you return oh, too. You thank you. So, um, anyway, is there anything in closing you'd like to say? No, I would just like to say thank you for the committee that put this together and the idea is fantastic and I hope we this can be an annual event. It would be great would be to nice. see this bursting at the seams and thank everybody for coming out who's come out so far because I think it's going to be a great night and thank Tammy look at her she's great here yep, flapper yep. <laughs> for coming out she's got the moves down not really and, yes no you do you're doing great so it's it's fun to see everybody just out doing something different and and just enjoying themselves so great, great. thanks for having thank me. you thank you very much Heather The drag movement or the drag experience, where has it been and where is it going? Like, where, how can people learn more information about it or support the scene, so to speak? Um, a lot of my friends who didn't know anything about it, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, which is on VH1, they have a couple of seasons throughout the year. You just have to watch for it. But watching that and getting, watching the people get ready, people who know nothing about it, it, it teaches them. You know I mean, because it takes three hours to look like this. It's, I mean, it's not like you just whoop something on and here we are. You know what I mean? It takes time. But that that show, a lot of my straight friends and my gay friends learned by, just by watching that show because it's very interesting. She won an Emmy now. So Paul, you know I mean? She's, <laughs> she's the winner of the world now because she got Emmys, she got a star on, on the, in Hollywood, and she does a great job with that show. And you know what I mean? It's, it's done a lot for drag. Very influential, and just I just saw the movie Star Is Born. I don't know if you saw that one, Tammy. I have not yet. Well, there's some uh, drag queen opening scenes is right in that film. Yes, and I mean, yeah, Sh Shangela, she said that uh, Gaga would have, she would have never told her to audition. She would have never had the gig, and she got picked. So Shangela, I've uh, she always says hello, <laughs> but she's in the movie. That's why I want to go see it because I didn't see it yet, but I want to go see it because I love Gaga, and to have a drag queen in a movie. I mean, that's that's. It shows no discrimination. It's so, no, I just think that's absolutely amazing, and I think that this is absolutely wonderful. And you hosting this is great because this this area is a little more closed-minded, a little more, especially they're nothing like Northampton where everything's. Like, so I think it's absolutely amazing to sit there and shed like so many different lights on everything right now, and I think this is beautiful. Felicia, it's just a fabulous thing that you're here and sharing uh, your goodwill and your hosting talents, and we want to thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I think that's it. I'm like, so the the Pocketick Neighborhood Center, yes, that's what we're doing that for, the CAN drive to help support them. And I want to thank you very much because that actually helps some of the patients I have. The, the Pocketick Neighborhood Center helps them out a lot. So I wanted to thank you personally for helping out with that. You got a gift again. Thank you very much, Felicia, for Vaudeville Con. Thank you. Uh -huh. That was good. It was good. Thanks, Sally. Guess you better slow my stand down
some more stars from the film Silent Times. Uh, I'm going to allow you guys to introduce yourselves um, and what role you played okay. in Silent Times. Okay, my name is Ms. Marcy and I played uh, like I guess you'd say like a cabaret singer sort of. Nice, and, yeah. nice. So, and you and, sir? Uh, well see I have a wife and she has a band yep. and she lets me play in it right here. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, awesome. What band do you guys have? Miss Marcy and the Love Sick Hounds. Miss Marcy and the Love I think I've seen you before. Oh, yeah. These guys are really good, man. I'm telling you. Oh, thank so, you. Do you have a question for? I have seen you before. <laughs> and you guys will be also playing tonight for us? Yes, we will. All right, that sounds wonderful. Will we be dancing to go with your music? Oh, I hope so. We haven't got a drummer, though. I should have known. I have a drum at home. I could have played with you guys. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you get back. That's all right. We don't need a drummer. So. All right. So what? Um, what was your opinion when Chris came up to you and said, "Hey, I want you to be in a silent movie." What, what did you guys think when he said that? Well, um, my first reaction was, "Okay, we're gonna play music in a silent movie." <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but it worked out well. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, there was actually sound when we performed. Nice. So. Nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so uh, what scene do you guys perform? And I'm just curious because I haven't seen well, this yet. You know I haven't seen the entire movie yet. So neither have I. Tonight yeah. it's going to be a real treat. Yeah. Nice, nice. So I'll get to see your part. You'll get to see my part. Yeah. I'll get to see your part. Well, I'll get to see the movie tonight. How great is that? <laughs> Making sure he's going to do a little exhibition right now. Okay, everyone, if we could have your full attention, I'm going to give you the red carpet. I'm going to stand back and let you do your thing, sir.
I just find it fascinating what you do, and I, I find it uh, a tremendous skill set that I think uh, people, once they see you do it, then they appreciate it. I remember the first time I saw you at another one of Chris and Eno's events, I started using my phone camera to tape you because I was so excited by what you were doing. So uh, I just want to say thank you so much. And if there's people out there that see this video and they want to do what you do, what is your suggestion for them to learn? Well, if you're starting out for the first time, I recommend that you be prepared to get hurt because I've dropped the rifle a number of times. I've gotten all kinds of bruises and cuts. So pain is part of the learning process with this practice. <laughs> it's it's the, uh, the art of learning is sometimes painful. I want to thank you so much, sir, and thank you for your thank service you. uh, to our country because what you're doing is just amazing. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you very much for having me. You are beautiful in every single way. company we're all wrestlers so I wouldn't go anywhere without my whole locker room going with me uh-uh that's my family and uh, in ECW we would never have that in our locker room we all would go together we have fought together as a matter of fact our last ECW TV there was a wrestling federation in California that came in and invaded and we fought off people who invaded our locker room so to leave anyone behind that's uh, I don't know. That's a disgrace to me. I'm Italian too, so <laughs> to look out, me familia. <laughs> I remember was it was it uh, Rob Black and uh, XWF? But we're getting the wrap up. But I just I just it's so great to have you because ECW was an important part of my life as a reporter. I did a lot of reporting on those shows. Shane Douglas, Raven, and yourself and everyone. Uh, and I just really want to thank you for coming to Vaudeville Con, uh, Angel. Is there anything you want to say before we wrap up? No, I just want to say thank you so much for being here and allowing me to represent women's wrestling. And um, I'm so excited for this vaudeville con. And I'm so glad that I got to meet you and uh, a lot of the other terrific people here in Pocatuck, Con Connecticut. Um, so I can't wait to enjoy the rest of our evening. Mwah. Have a lovely evening. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, Angel. Thank you. Maybe we'll get another interview. Chocolate on my fingers, ice on my lips, sugar diabetes and blood on my hips. I get the nighttime cold so I can go downstairs. I got them all real cream sandwich, chocolate cream, cookie blue. Job. Well, most of these know maybe I keep in the glove box of my car. I can't get it out. They get me high and I get all blue. I got them all real cream sandwich. Chocolate cream with your blue.
Hi, welcome back to Vaudeville Con and the premiere of Silent Times. We have a very special guest, Angela Graham, all the way from the UK. Angela, thanks for being here. You're a very special lady of the, uh, of the night and the ceremony. Tell us about it, Angela. I'm the girlfriend of Chris and Eno, and I've traveled from England to come to this evening. And a very special uh, ceremony is going to take place, from what I understand. You want to, want to tell us a little bit about that? I'm not too sure exactly what's happening here, but it's um, a commitment to a friendship, a sort of an engagement. That's very, very exciting. And uh, from the research I've done about you, you've had some experience with professional fitness competition, bodybuilding. That's a fascinating world to me. Can you tell us more about that uh, experience? Yes, I've been a bodybuilding champion um, sometime in the past. And in the UK, I had seven titles. Um, I've competed internationally and got up to international world status. I just It's a very fascinating world. Uh, where do you see, tell us about in your career as a fitness uh, expert and a bodybuilder, how that world has kind of developed or evolved with time because it's just, I mean we all know about Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno and pumping iron, but the, the women's world of bodybuilding, everything is so fascinating. What are your thoughts on where it's been, where it's going, where it is now? When I first started women's bodybuilding, it was in its infancy and I'm looked upon as one of the early pioneers. There was only two weight categories in those days, which was the lightweight and the medium weight, from which I was medium weight. But over the years, they've opened new classes, which incorporates fitness, bikini, um, both for males and females, there's different stages of competition now, which opens the doors for people that are not um, with heavy density muscle, which seems to be going out of fashion apart from the Miss and Miss Olympias. And tonight you're dressed for the occasion. Uh, vaudeville, is that something that uh, has been a part of your life before? Did you get into that because of Chris or is this new to you? It's kind of new to me to be honest with you. It's new to me actually. I know there is um, um, a Facebook page, Vaudeville, which is um, orientated around acting and film. I know very little about it, but I've made the effort to dress in 1920s for this evening, and that's Chris's influence. Well, you look, you look fabulous. This is very exciting. Uh, thanks for being here. It means a lot to Chris and to everybody. So I want to thank Angela Graham. If there's anything last you want to say to the audience, please go right ahead. I hope you have a very pleasant evening. Thank you very much. We'll pitch it to the pork. Or pitch